From mastermind crooks to slovenly slots, we've got everything that seldom works on In Case You Missed It. While some people just wasted their time during the pandemic lockdowns, Rene Vignola of Pueblo City, Mexico, used it to develop his very unique talent, drawing celebrity portraits with his feet. Yes, with his feet. Well, of course. Boy, talk about toe in the line. That's one way to do it, huh? Here is his drawing of Billie Eilish. There you go. That's what that looks like with his toes. And here's Will Smith. I guess he just slapped that all over the canvas there. <laughs> Dog and, paddled. That was terrible. I'd like to see him try maybe a historical figure like John Bunyan. <laughs> oh. Anyway, Renee now has millions of fans who are keeping in step with him online because they think his art has soul. <laughs> you missed your cover. You should have been a podiatrist. I should have been, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to be arch. You know, it's not, <laughs> it's not easy drawing celebrities with your feet. I don't know if you know this, but if Keith took off his shoes and socks, the only thing his feet could draw is flies. That's just... I'm good at that. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we head to Florida for a couple of Hux criminal mastermind stories. First, police in Polk County, Florida, released video of two burglars struggling and straining to steal a safe that was so heavy they could barely budge it. After working so hard, they wish they'd gotten honest jobs. They finally lifted it into their car. Police said if they ever managed to get the safe open, they'd love to see their faces when they discovered it was empty. Oh, no. I'll bet they felt like Geraldo Rivera when he opened Al Capone's <laughs> legendary secret safe in Chicago. I remember that. Oh, boy. <laughs> and after they spent a safe full of cash just to gas up the getaway car, that made it worse. By the way, they're still at large, but... Police have staked out every hernia clinic in town. They think they'll find them there. That's where they'll find them. Staggering over to Pinellas County, Florida, a police officer spotted the man who appeared somewhat intoxicated. Somewhat. He asked the cop for a ride home. Following procedure, <laughs> before he would let the guy in the police car, the cop asked if he was carrying anything illegal. Now, the guy could have just said no, but instead... He emptied his pockets and he showed the officer that he was carrying marijuana and three bags of cocaine. <laughs> he then thought better of it and he tried to hide the drugs from the cop that he had just voluntarily shown them to. I think, Keith, he was more than somewhat intoxicated. Uh, a little bit, yes. Uh, alcohol I mean, and a lot of other things involved. One of the reasons, I mean, this guy was so gassed, he thought he was in Oregon and all those drugs were still legal. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of vices, British supermarket worker Andy Curry, this is a crazy story. He got so hooked on Pepsi that he drank 30 cans a day of Pepsi for 20 years. How do you do that? That's over two and a half gallons a day of Pepsi. That's 17,000 pounds of sugar over the 20 year period. How does your bladder keep up is what I... <laughs> I can't even conceive of that. I mean, he estimates that he spent $8,500 a year on Pepsi. Pepsi. They love him. You know, they got to love this guy. I bet he also spent eight hours a day in the men's room. I guarantee you. <laughs> yep. Pepsi's slogan used to be, come alive. This guy's lucky he's still alive, I'll tell you. <laughs> anyway, doctors warned him that he was obese and in danger of diabetes. Who would have ever thought that? So he went to a hypnotherapist who cured him of his Pepsi addition, addiction in one session, which wow. is impressive. Now he prefers water. But I wonder if he drinks two and a half gallons of water yeah, every day. Yeah, I couldn't day. take that I don't much. Know. <laughs> well, finally, this week's cute animal video comes from slothsanctuary.com. Yeah, there is such a place. This is baby sloths eating lunch. Oh. You know what? It kind of looks like lunchtime around here. It really does. <laughs> but I got to admit, when I okayed this video, I had not seen it yet. I was told we had video of sloths feeding at the trough while accomplishing absolutely nothing. I just assumed it was a video of Congress. That's what yeah, I thought it was. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, well, before you rouse yourselves to throw vegetables <laughs> at your TV, we're going to put this bit to bed. <sighs> but until yeah. next time, always remember, we read the news. So you know,